This video is going to demonstrate how to do your first assignment with Autodesk Inventor. It's essentially a scavenger hunt where you're going to find different uh, toolbars and resources in Autodesk Inventor, take pictures of them or screenshots of them, and then post them in a Google Doc. So once you have the um, program Autodesk Inventor open here, which is simply done through the start bar and the appropriate program folder, um, you're going to open the uh, document, which I have right here. And then you're going to be going through these different boxes, locating these uh, items, taking screenshots of them, and simply posting them here. Now, you will not be able to write on this. You, first, you will have to make a copy. Make sure you put your name in here instead of copy of. Open that up, and that's the one that you will be adding things to now. The home screen is the first thing that you are tasked with creating, uh, or excuse me, creating creating a picture of. This is, is the home screen here. When you open Autodesk Inventor, this is what you see. This is why we refer to it as a home screen. If you've already traveled somewhere else and you have to figure out how to get back to the home screen, there's a button to take you there. So what you're going to do is open the snipping tool, which I have put this shortcut here. But if you click on your search button and type in snip, it pops up really quickly. Most of you will see a much smaller version of the snipping tool, but mine, I usually leave it large because I use it all the time. Once you click new, take a screenshot of the large part of the screen and then save it usually do it right in pictures, although it would be good to create a folder in here as well to put it in. I'm just going to uh, name it something that I know. Assignment number one, screenshots. And all my screenshots are going to go in here, and I'm just going to name it number one. Really simple. So when I go to my Google Doc, I'm going to go to the appropriate table and click insert image upload from computer because that's where I saved it. Go to my pictures, go to the appropriate folder and select, click open and there you go. Now what I want you to focus on is not having giant pictures. Giant pictures will make this really hard for me to grade and really disorganize on your part. So this is about perfect right here. Uh, if it's too small, I won't be able to make it out, but make it as big as you can without um, making it too big, if that makes any sense. What you see here is actually exactly what I want. For the part workspace, first thing you need to do is open a part. Once you click that, you see the part workspace. So go ahead and take another screenshot here. Now, essentially, the workspace is kind of this middle part, uh, but just take a picture of the whole thing. And that's going to be number two. I'm going to insert that. You're going to be doing a lot of these, uh, taking pictures, screenshots, and posting them. So make sure that you understand the tools. All right, tab bar. Where is the tab bar? The tab bar is this series of tools right here. That is your tab bar. So take a picture of that and just that. Don't take a picture of the entire screen. That is not what we want. We want these specific things. I want you to demonstrate to me that you know one thing from another. So when we're talking in the future about how to go do something, you understand. And something like that, you may need to make bigger if it's too small, but that still works pretty well. Number four, onto the 3D model tool panel. Well, the 3D model tab is highlighted, highlighted, and the tool panel is everything that we can do inside there. So that's going to be our next picture. Let's paste that in the appropriate box or insert, however you want to think about it. All right, now browser, if we go back to our screen, the browser is what's over here on the left. 
it essentially is a historical document of everything that we've done here. Now, obviously, it's very short right now, but these can get very, very long with complex projects. So it can be a really nice way to navigate around. All right. View cube. The view cube is this thing right over here. Notice it kind of moves around and it's cube shaped. It controls the viewpoint or it controls and shows you the viewpoint that we're looking at the screen. Because remember, this is essentially a 3D workspace. So that is the cube that we need to take a picture of. All right, this is going to be the last one I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk through and point out some of the rest of the things here. So the sketch tool panel is very similar to the 3D model tool panel in that once you select the tabs, you see different toolbars. Well, once the sketch tab is highlighted, the toolbar is what you see underneath. So you're going to take a picture of that. Uh, expanded file tab. Hopefully that's also pretty explanatory. File is actually a slightly different color. It's orange. And if you hover over save as and don't click it quite yet, but just hover over it, you can see you have some options here. Now these options will be important later, uh, but this is probably where you're going to want to take a picture. Um, also, one thing I want to point out here, because it does come up pretty soon, is when you are saving, you have some options here. Now, I don't want you to worry too much about the options yet. Just understand that in this menu, there are options. It will be important later. You have a tool tab. Uh, hopefully, by now, you know what the tabs are. You have a workspace canvas after clicking 2D Sketch. So what you need to do here is go to Sketch, go to Start 2D Sketch, and now take a picture of the workspace. The workspace essentially is where your object is, also referred to as the canvas. So take a picture of the three planes here, the origin planes. Here, it asks you to expand the origin folder in the browser. Remember the browser is this thing over here, so expand that and take a picture. And it's asking you also to highlight the XY plane. So if you come over here, and we have to get out of this, but if you come over here and click the XY plane, notice it stays lit up. Take a picture of this as well. And that is also obviously what you're going to post. You're going to go to the File tab and click the Properties menu. Then you're going to click the Help Search bar, which is actually right up here. You're going to search something in that text bar and take a picture. And then the last one that you're going to do is you're going to minimize the panel button in the tool panel. So tool panel, hopefully you can figure it out from here. And or minimize, oh, excuse me, minimize tool. Uh, minimize panel is this button right here. Now, a lot of times students make the mistake of clicking this and they say, where did my tools go? Well, this is a toggle that has four different options. Uh, it essentially lets you customize your toolbars. Um, so if you click that, or at least take a picture of it and post it, you'll understand, hopefully, when you accidentally click it and things disappear, how to get it back. So that's all you have to do for assignment number one is take those pictures and post them, turn it in, and you should be 100% good to go and on to the next.